I'm Lamar Hires. I wanted to bring you up to speed on where we are with the Optima and the RevD Electronics. Everybody's asking for them. Everybody wants to know where they are. And I have the first one here uh, diving it, and they're in production right now. So I want to let you know what you're going to get when you get a, an Optima with a RevD Electronics package. What we're doing is the primary is a RevD controller. So you get your nice large display and your PO2s uh, here that always stay on the screen in big content and never change or roll. So you've got that going on it. And what we also do is the new Diva is controlled by the primary. So what you'll get is a Rev D primary and a Rev C secondary that is strictly a backup. It has no function except to give you a backup reading of your PO2s in case you know, something happens with the primary, the battery goes, or something like that, that you need to look for your backup, that's it. So no more are there shared functions between the secondary and the primary for your Diva and solenoid. Everything is on the primary. Your Diva function and your uh, solenoid all by the primary, so that basically just one controller and you can do everything you need to, uh, for a Diva selection and for your PO2 settings, all right here. Now, the other nice feature with the RevDs coming out is the new Diva. It's got a lateral mount going across the face like this rather than up and down like this. So with that, you can adjust its setting to get it into your field of view by sliding it back and forth along this to make sure it's right there where it needs to be. Okay. Um, this right here is the, uh, you can see the LEDs on it, and there's also a reading light right there. Uh, your buddy, on the other hand, sees that side of it, where there's a display where you can turn on for uh, him to see your PO2s as well, which makes it very good in training situations when you're trying to see what your students' PO2s are, where you can actually look at them the whole time and see exactly what they're seeing. You don't have to worry about uh, what's going on in terms of a hood or cover. Uh, with a new display, it's very easy to see, and you can rotate it to get it right where you need it to be and uh, depending on your, uh, the lighting you're in in terms of being open water and a sunny day or at night you can rotate it around to get the right positioning so you can read your diva very nicely. Okay? So that's what's happening with the Rev Ds. We'll have them out very soon. They're in production. Kevin uh, at Jurgensen Marine will start delivery on them here within the next week. I'll start getting them in to fill all the back orders and to start being ready for new orders. But that's what you'll get on the Optima, a single RevD controller that controls your solenoid and your Diva, and then you'll get a RevC backup for it. So that's a standard Optima setup. But we can do anything custom you want. If you want RevDs on both handsets, we can do that. If you want to look at a single controller option with a four cell interface, we can do things like that too. But a standard Optima will be a RevD primary and a RevC secondary.